Peter. Uh, actually, I didn't expect you at all. When was your last time over here? I think two years ago. Nice to have you here, and I know you haven't been here for so such a long time. And actually, you know what I want to do? I just want to show you a little bit around. That'd be great. Let's go. The, the partnership already started in '96. So we were at that time both at the Beth Israel Hospital in Boston. Uh, Mark hadn't had his PhD, so I basically asked him, why don't you just come over to Würzburg? Nice place. We also have a lot of MRI machines and you can do your PhD with us. And then he came over, I think it was 1999, and then he continued to work in this area of parallel imaging. MRI is a single slice tech. And with Kaipirunia, for instance, you can detect two or four slides at the same time and with the same image quality you had beforehand for one single slice. So you basically get four times the information per unit time, which accelerates by a factor of four, which reduces the examine by a factor of four, and this might give you additional diagnostic advantage. And who came up first with this idea? I mean, it was basically Mark and me thinking about how can we improve uh, parallel imaging in general, and there must be a better way of doing that. And then we came up uh, with Kaipirinia as we know it today. And actually, Mark came up with this brilliant uh, acronym. Controlled aliasing in parallel imaging results in higher acceleration, which means you just get a better image quality, and it's uh, a certain multi-slice parallel imaging technology. I was just over in Cardiff over the weekend, or last week, uh, with Derek Jones, and they're using Kyperinia to scan the brain at super high resolution. And how many slices do they make normally in parallel? They do eight all the time now. Eight all the time, wow. Lots of data all at the same time. And how was the SNR? It was okay, but they're seeing stuff in the brain that we never imagined. It was really pretty fun to, to watch it. Siemens, ingenuity for life.